52 yards. How y'all doing? <laughs> My name's Chris. I'm Les. And this is Walmart Stan. So on this video, we are going to be reviewing the LRF for the Ricks Leap L3 and L6 scopes. Um, connects Bluetooth, 500 bucks. And when it came available, boy howdy, we both went and ordered. Absolutely. Les ordered one and I ordered one. So you guys know now which scope I'm going to be rolling with when it comes to uh, replacing the old Thermion. So what's in the box? All right, simple. You're not going to find an owner's manual. All you're going to find is it's going to be unassembled here. I don't know if you can be able to say that well, but you're going to have your, your LRF battery goes on the back. CR123 battery. Yeah, come on guys. It would have been nice if you would have kept it a like an 18650 so it matched the scope. But do you just lock her in there? Tighten her down. Well, shoot, bring up your rifle. You can show them. And just connects on the rifle. Okay, so what's cool about this LRF is we're not strangers to hunting with LRF. Um, Les used to hunt with the Trail 2 LRF. One thing about it is you got your crosshairs and then you got your radical box that you actually arrange with them. What's nice about this is this moves around, okay? So what you do, turn it on, you get it connected, hit the button twice, and uh, well, let me turn mine on, maybe. So once you get it turned on, you can tap it twice. You have this nice little red laser. Hit it twice again, shuts off, press and hold. She shuts back off. All right, so once you got it mounted, you take your rifle, whatever distance you want. Now in the owner's manual, you'll, you'll find that online. Um, I downloaded it, printed it off, all that kind of stuff. But it doesn't, they don't tell you what range. So we just went out, we did a generic to start with. We did a 32 yard zero. So there's Les, way the hell over there with his rifle. And he's got his laser on, going on in that scope. What am I doing? Well, <laughs> pretty high tech guys. I'm sitting here with my finger on the tank. There's that laser. Oh shoot. Let me let me see if I can sight. Alright. So there's what we're doing. Right here on my finger. Les has got his crosshairs on my finger so you can see the heat of it. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. It takes some time. You get that laser right there and Les is back there got it all zeroed and torqued down this is our initial our initial zero of that LRF how easy it was to get the red dot on my finger not hard it jammed up a little bit here and there so you'd move it a little bit and like I said it didn't give really well but that could have been how I had it tightened into the mount to begin with which now, is as you turn it on and it's connected to your scope, so it's essentially in a standby mode. And then uh, you can hit it, turn it on, give your ranges, and you can hit it, turn it off. So what we like about it is while we're calling, um, we don't always need to be ranging. So hit the button and it starts ranging and it's continuous range. It isn't like you hit the button and it ranges once. You hit the button and it's continually ranging. So the whole time the animal's coming in, you can be ranging it in all the way in. Took my loophole handheld rangefinder out that uh, I do all the ranges for doing my load development from rifle, so I know it's spot on. Um, went out there, I was pulling ranges, not letting Les know what it was, have him tell me what the ranges were, and each time it was spot on. One of the handy parts that you could use with that zeroing laser is uh, 
we hunt in the desert and uh, trying to find a dead coyote in the sagebrush is like a needle in a haystack. Yeah, and it, absolutely. we have tried every method known to man on helping our recovery. So being able to turn that red laser on, yeah, you're going to burn some more battery, but we can give you a pinpoint spark, plot, spot to go looking for. Like us. It says it's a Bluetooth. Yep. L6 ain't Bluetooth. Not, it's Wi-Fi. Not on the old firmware. Not on the last three. It was 303. So the firmware for this, guys, year, we didn't know it. We figured it out, and we figured we'd share. Um, you're not going to find it on the app for your updates. That might be coming. Yeah, it could be coming. You know, it just... We got it yesterday, and from what we've seen, a lot of people don't have it yet. On their site, you have to download yep. it. We ended up putting it, using the computer and taking that firmware, dropping it onto the scope, and then going into the scope and telling the scope to update, and then it put in so, that new firmware. So what you're going to notice is when you go through your menu and you go to your Wi-Fi, now you're going to see LRF turned it on. Yeah, you're going to have the, the Wi-Fi turn on and off on the bottom, which you use the top knob to turn the Wi-Fi on and off. And then you use your your right side knob to turn on the Bluetooth on and off. So, in your opinion, worth 500 bucks? So far, absolutely. I believe so. Pros, I'd have to say, the I like the fact that the it's all aluminum, guys. Solid metal. Um, there ain't plastic on it. Um, even the cap, you're gonna notice it's 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 got some resistance again it against it. You got a nice O-ring seal. The springs are heavy in it. Um, it sticks out quite a bit, and you really got to push on it. Thread it in there, nice and solid. I love that. I I love that rugged feeling. Um, the the mount that goes to your scope. It's nice, it's solid, it's, I think it'll handle up to all the abuse that we're ever going to throw at them. Um, cons, the only thing I really see is the fact that uh, it's that CR-123. Yeah, I don't not like really, batteries. Not really known for a lot of long life and they're kind of expensive. I mean, sure, yeah, we're going to go online and get rechargeables and get the largest ones we could. It'd be nice, you know, hey, Ricks, if you guys are watching, a little port on the side let me run it to my external battery that would really help us out oh yeah Dad, I'm getting a 623 yard range on a cow up there. Let me go up on the hill. Can I see how far you can take it? I've seen a 700 pop up there for one second. All right, if you guys got any questions, hit us up in the comment section. Let us know. Um, if I don't know the answer, Les don't know the answer, we will get it for you. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching.